All right, welcome back, friends. Today we're actually going to be, well, I'm going to be doing something that I've never actually done. It's going to be the first time for me. But we're going to see how it goes. People have tried it. I've seen people succeed with it. And I want to give it a shot. So I was going through inside of the shed I was looking for some uh, grow lights and I came across some garlic from last year that I found three bulbs of garlic you can see they're already starting to sprout now when I say it's something I've never done is I've never planted garlic in the springtime you know I plant garlic every October and I have success with that which I planted, you know, the last October of 22. But now that I found these, and they're already sprouting, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna plant them here in April of 23, and see, compare this to the ones I planted it back in October of 22. So now all I gotta do is find the garden bed where I'm gonna put these. And I have to choose carefully because garlic does take about eight to nine months to come to maturity. So I have to choose very carefully where I plant it. So this way I'm not tying up too much space for the next, you know, eight to nine months. So I think this very outer raised bed here will do the trick. Okay, so. You know, I, I actually rethought the process. Instead of instead of me planting, you know, two, three rows all nice and neat, because it's not that much garlic if you think about it. What I'm choosing to do is I'm gonna go right along the edge, about two to three inches, right along, but I'm gonna go around the whole perimeter of the bed, like a whole square, so this way I have the middle you know, to either put, uh, usually in this bed, I like to put my okri because this bed here is the one that gets the most sun and the soil gets really, really warm in this raised bed and it's very ideal for okri. And I'm not going to bore you with the process of planting garlic. You know, I've shown you before, you know, I'm going in about one inch and covering it up. But the mistake I, well, I used to make that mistake and I was just starting to make it again. Sorry about the camera work. I'm trying a new tripod. As I always cover, like I covered that one right away. Well, now I, if I cover it right away, then I lose track of where I planted. So I like to, you know, put them all in the ground, you know, about four or five inches apart. And I like to leave... I like to go back and cover after, so this way I always have a visual of where I've planted and where I haven't. So I'm going to keep on going and and stay tuned guys, don't click away from the video yet. Because I do have a unique challenge that I'm going to be presenting here for the 2023 homesteading, gardening and homesteading community. So don't click away just yet. And guys, also another thing for us uh, YouTube creators, it's uh, we do put a lot of time and effort into making these videos to hopefully connect with you and try to not only show you what we're doing here in our homes and backyards, but also hopefully teach you something of how we do it and also learn from you, especially in your comments when you leave comments. Uh, comments are very helpful. So if at any point you would like to follow my journey to everyone that has subscribed and supports my channel, thank you so much. I appreciate every one of you. And if you are new here for the first time, please feel free to also join in and uh, click that subscribe button, the notification bell, and we'll do this together. Like I'm saying, you know, if you've never planted garlic before, 
it's as simple as go to an organic store. You don't need seed garlic that they so say it has to be seed garlic. No. Just go to an organic store right now. Uh, you could do it in pots. You could do it in raised beds like I do. Uh, but you could certainly do it in pots. And go to an organic food store and get yourself some either hard neck garlic or soft neck garlic. If you live in the in a cold climate, cold state, I would recommend a hard neck type garlic. It does tend to do a lot better with the cold, but soft neck also works, and that garlic will grow for you. So why don't you join in and grow it along with me? You, you're right here, April 4th. I just planted it, and together we're going to find out whether it comes out better than the one I planted back in October of 2022. All right, so I got that done. I planted... I started here by Mr. Owl, and I went all the way around to, to right about there. All right, now that we got all the boring stuff out of the way with the planting of the garlic, now comes the fun part, which is the challenge for 2023. And uh, I started the challenge last year of Sunflower High 22. Now it's going to be Sunflower High 23, where last year everybody was growing my own seeds from my uh, that I've been saving for seven, eight years from a, a huge, massive sunflower called the Mammoth Mora. Well, this year I want to change it up a little bit, and instead of growing just my sunflower. I want you guys that decide you want to join and compete in this fun competition is you can grow any, any sunflower that you want, whether it's the Mammoth Mora, if you happen to have seeds, if it's um, Mammoth Sunflower, whatever variety of sunflower you want, you can grow it. And it's just basically it's to see who can grow the tallest biggest sunflower it's always a lot of fun last year's champion was uh, bobby b head from reaper's ridge uh, also a youtube creator nice guy um and this year and second place actually went to cajun hydroponics uh the swamp rat and uh he beat me by I don't know, two inches, three inches or something like that. But that's fine. He did a wonderful job as well. And while we're on the Cajun Hydroponics, he is sponsoring $50 to the winner via a gift card or a t-shirt or multiple prizes to the winner. So I am still looking for a sponsor for second place and third place. And if you guys are interested in that, uh, you can certainly contact me via my email, which is willitgrow76 at gmail.com. And I will put you in as a second place um, sponsor. And I, then the third person that emails me, I will put you in as a third place sponsor. And of course, your channel gets a little bit extra of a boost. So email me it's uh it's gonna be fun and i hope all of you guys in the uh gardening and homesteading global gardening and homesteading community decide that you want to join in this it's a lot of fun all right guys i'm gonna end it there and uh, thank you once again for your support i appreciate it and uh i'll see you in the next video bye guys yeah you girls better enjoy it now because uh, in about 30 more days, you will not be allowed on the garden beds. Right, Bella? Right, Bella? Yeah, they love themselves a nice little dirt bath. <laughs>